Hello Capricorn viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you for the next couple weeks or so. We'll just see what the cards say. You know, the reading I did uh, about a month or so ago, I was getting that all the, the love drawing uh, rituals you've been doing are working. So like the affirmations, just putting in that intention that you're ready for a relationship, putting that intention out there. All of that is manifesting love in your life. People are starting to finally take notice of you. So let's see what the cards have to say. It's Capricorn season. All right. Mm, not one more, I guess so. Clubs, parties, social life. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Submissive and weak-willed. X, the past. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. Loyalty, stability, and vows. A love offer coming in here. Commitment. Love life is ascending to a higher level. Sex and seduction. Waiting, hoping, praying. Courage, assertiveness, and forward movement okay so there's something about clubs and parties and so I feel like this is like an outgoing type of energy so I feel like you either met this person at a party or this could be a new person you're meeting at a party but I feel like you have a tendency to overthink and kind of overanalyze and like sabotage yourself when new love comes in so I feel like this has to do with an ex this, it's like you're afraid of showing your romantic side. You're afraid of being too open. You're afraid of being too vulnerable, possibly. It's like you... Because we've got submissive and weak-willed here. So it's kind of like in the past, you kind of gave in to those feelings of love. Um, and this has to do with an ex that probably broke your heart. And now it's really hard for you not to overthink and overanalyze and kind of sabotage yourself when new love comes in because of what you've been through and it makes sense you know everyone has those issues everyone's had their heart broken you just kind of have to decide what's worth it to you but there's something about clubs here I don't know what it means though like, I don't I'm because I'm usually I can channel more clearly but like for whatever reason this card is just throwing me off a little bit I'm like did you go to clubs with this ex or did you meet them at a club or there's some kind of memories tied to a certain like social like clubs, parties, social events, hanging out with friends. Is there something with that? That's what I'm wondering. Because like everything's shut down right now because of COVID. So I'm like, you couldn't really, I keep thinking maybe you're going to meet somebody at a club, but it's like nothing's really open right now, is it? So I don't know how you would. Um, well, I guess in certain states, maybe things are open. So maybe maybe you could, maybe that's what it's saying. I'm not sure. Um, that one's throwing me off for some reason. But yeah, it's like it's like you have this kind of too good to be true mentality almost because I see the adventure honeymoon vacation card. So it's like when you start giving in to those feelings of like new love and happiness and um, just wanting to explore the world with somebody, it's like you're afraid that you're gonna lose yourself in that in that energy, in that connection because of what your ex did. It's like you're afraid that you're just not, you're afraid that you're going to open up and that you're just, you're, once you love, I think once you love somebody, you really love them and you can't let them go. And so it's almost like you, you're out of balance. It's like you don't have that balance of letting some people in and shutting some people out. It's like you just kind of, it's like all or nothing with you, it feels like, with this kind of energy here is what I'm getting. This could also be your person, because I'm, I'm, I feel like for a lot of you, this it could actually be your person, that they're feeling, they just met you, or they're trying to find you, um, and it's like they're afraid that they're going to lose themselves in this connection. Um, you know, they're thinking about, like, this honeymoon, maybe thinking about traveling with you, thinking about vacation, thinking about just this new energy, but it's like they're afraid that they are they might lose themselves in this connection. You know, it's like you're going to love. Like nobody, nobody is above love. Nobody can go their lives without love. It's like sooner or later you're going to meet somebody and you're going to fall deeply in love. And the fear is just absolutely pointless. It's not going to protect you. You know, you're human. We're, we're designed to be vulnerable. We are pack animals. We're designed to 
to need that intimacy and a connection and it's okay to to be vulnerable and open up that side of yourself you know and be just be open to that because it's like you need that you can't live your life alone it's just not worth it no matter how badly this person hurt you it's not worth it um let's see here it's interesting energy but again like i said this might not be you this could be your person who's kind of starting to have these realizations it's like they want to break free of this energy there's just an energy of somebody being restricted somebody wanting to love wanting to go to wanting to travel with somebody wanting to go on these adventures but it's like something just holds them back there's this fear of getting their heart broken again of losing themselves again of you know being cheated on of whatever the trauma might be and and so you know you it's like this someone ends up overthinking things and sabotaging what could be a really good thing here could also i take this to mean travel too so it could also be that you're talking to somebody that lives in a in another like state or another another town or something um I'm still thrown by the clubs and parties i don't know why i'm so thrown off by that card Maybe it means something specific to you guys. There might be like a few of you where you know what this means. And it's like, I'm maybe I'm not meant to know what that means. <laughs> but. It's almost like when love. Okay, so you have love coming in. You have somebody that's noticing you. That wants to present loyalty, stability, vows. Um, that wants to give you this love offer. But it's almost like when you see it. I think there's two different stories here. So this could be you or this could be your person. I'm going to read both to you. So so like I said, for some of you, this is this is you and you're afraid. And I think that you're you're kind of aware that you're you're afraid of losing yourself again. You're afraid of I mean, maybe you're focusing on your career more or you're focusing on just on yourself more on, you know, could be fitness, exercise, uh, whatever it might be. Like you're putting yourself first more now and you're really afraid that if you fall deeply in love that you're going to lose that again and that you're going to put the other person first. And, you know, that could be a bad thing if it's somebody who's toxic. So, the, the, you know, the fear makes sense. But it's like you do have somebody that's noticing you and that's wanting to come in and give you this stability and loyalty and make this love offer and and commit to you and maybe travel with you maybe you know go on like this honeymoon kind of energy with you but it's like you sabotage it's the sex seduction here it's like you don't get let things get too deep you know and it's almost like you wait and hope and pray for love and then when it comes around you i'm sorry my cards are calling you guys out <laughs> Don't unlike just because my cards are calling you out, okay? I didn't do it. My cards did it. Don't blame me. Don't blame me, but blame the cards. <laughs> blame your spirit guides, okay? They're the ones that are here saying all this, okay? Don't blame me for it. I'm sorry. Anyway, you know, waiting, hoping, praying. It's almost like you, you've been trying to manifest love. You've been waiting on love. You've been hoping for love. But you have this subconscious pattern of sabotaging it. And you, I don't even know how aware of it you are. Maybe you're not aware of it. Maybe it's like, how do I even explain that energy? It's like it's easy not to go out and meet people. It's easy to just kind of fantasize and dream and think, you know, someday that would be nice to have a long-term stable relationship. Or it's like you ask for it and you hope for it and you dream about it. But it's like that's, that, that's like a safe space for you. You know what I mean? Like just in that energy of just kind of dreaming just thinking about how it would be nice but when it comes to like the actuality of love like having love right in front of your face having someone right in front of your face that wants to take you on a date that wants to really know you having that just like just no barriers just completely vulnerable emotional connection with someone that's when you get freaked out and It's like, it's just like a form of sabotaging. I don't even know if you're aware that you're doing it though. Cause it's like you wait and you pray for it. And then, uh, how do I even explain that energy? It's so interesting. It's like you want it, but you don't allow it. And this energy always sort of manifests it. It manifests love in your life as something that's always out there. Something that's always just out of reach. Something you have to wait for. Um, could be like a pattern that you're kind of stuck in where you just have to keep waiting for love where it's just forever out of reach 
and it might be a subconscious pattern, maybe even something repeated that you're repeating from childhood even, um, that you're just, you're just in this energy of like, you have to wait, you have to pray for it, but it's like when you actually have it, it freaks you out, you know what I mean? And it could be that you're attracted to people that are not emotionally available, that could be part of it, but it's like if you do have real love coming in, you kind of try to get in this like sex seductive kind of energy where it's like you don't fully, you just don't fully allow this. You know what I mean? You, you kind of keep things in the shallow level. But I think you have someone that wants to break through that. You know, someone who wants to be assertive and forward and gets to know you better. And, and you have that courageous kind of energy coming through. Now for others of you, this might not be you. This could be your person. So it could be that your person is afraid of losing themselves and your person is kind of the one doing this and you're wanting this new start with them. You're wanting to get things going. You're wanting to travel with them. You're wanting to get to know them better. You're wanting to live your life and go on dates and have fun with them. And they're the ones that kind of are, they're the one that's kind of um, hung up on damage from the past. And you're wanting to come in with this love offer and they're, they know that there's something real here, but they're the ones that are kind of sabotaging it because it's like right in front of their face and now it freaks them out. But you're wanting to come forward. Anyway, um, what's the most likely interaction between you, between you and this person over the next few weeks? Open, honest communication message. Yeah. I don't know if it's you caving, to, caving and messaging them or, or them messaging you, but someone, it's timed. I think the, yeah, message about about home, sense of belonging, safe space, like sending a message about, um, just like, a, I feel, see it as like vulnerability kind of as, as someone maybe trying to override these patterns and trying to do what feels right for them, do what feels good for them. They want that sense of home. They want that romance and that passion and that connection. And I think that their life has gotten lonely because they, whether it's you or whether it's your person, somebody's life has gotten lonely from shutting everybody out and pushing everybody away and suppressing that romantic side of themselves. So I feel like there's some kind of communication that's going to come forward here. Either you or your person. There's just something coming forward here. Could be fear of... Hmm. Could have been miscommunication in the past or it could be current. They're, maybe they're afraid, too, of their emotions coming off as codependent or they're afraid of being codependent. Because that makes sense with the submissive, weak-willed energy. It's like somebody who really gives just gives in to their passion, gives in to love. And that's a good thing to me. I think that's a good thing. But they might be just afraid of that again. They're afraid of, of they see it as codependency. They don't see it as giving into love. They This person views it as codependency and addiction. Like they, they see it as, you know, that kind of love is toxic. They don't really believe, they're more like a logical kind of person, I think, whether it's you or them. Um, and so they're afraid of that miscommunication. They're afraid of losing themselves in this connection. But anything else that we can say about this? Finance, yeah, somebody's just been focusing on their finances and career because they don't want to lose lose that part of themselves. But you have a soulmate coming in that's just come in or you're becoming conscious that you have the soulmate energy around you and see how she's kind of like luring this person in. It's like... You can't put on this front anymore and just focus on finances because the love is here. And again, that's either you or your person. Someone can't focus on just finances and career and whatever anymore because love is here whether they like it or not. Um, could be, yeah, shyness, fear of rejection. Somebody's maybe afraid of asking you out. Choose a path. It's interesting energy here. What do I even make of this? I guess it's like ego too. It's like this person, again, whether it's you or your person, it's like somebody kind of just tries to focus on themselves because they don't want to get rejected or heartbroken again. You know, so it's like they kind of put on this front. It's like you got to choose a path because you're out of balance. This person is out of balance. Whether it's you or them, somebody is out of balance. It's like you need 
your finances and your hobbies and your career and money and you need love. It's not like you have to choose between the two. It's like you we need both. It's normal to need and want both. Yeah, somebody's got a fear of commitment they gotta work through. It's like ever used to drama, used to everything being a power struggle, but then when you have real love right in front of you, it's like somebody doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, pride and stubbornness here. Okay. Um, can I just get a few quick cards? Just what, what should you do next? What will help you next? Divine intervention, synchronicity, um, getting in touch with your spiritual, romantic, emotional side. I think that, that you suppress that side of yourself, maybe paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, paying attention to the messages you get from the universe, dreams, visions, tele telepathy. Yeah. Paying attention to the psychic energy. It's a very strong sense of psychic energy here. I think that you suppress that part of yourself. I think that, um, I mean, maybe not intentionally, but it's like you, you, when you're stressed out and you're focused on work and you're focused on, it's like ego or you're kind of shutting everybody out. It's, it's hard for you to get in tune with this side of yourself and your guides are asking you to reclaim this side of yourself. You know, the side, the side that dreams, the side that's idealistic, the side that's emotional, that's vulnerable, that's romantic, the side that is capable of noticing the synchronicities, the the signs, the the that free spirited, just universal energy of love. It's like your guides are asking you to get back in tune with this energy, develop your um, nurture your soul, develop your your intuition, develop pay more attention to this because you're so focused on the physical and on appearances and all this, all this other stuff and you've neglected this like vulnerable side of yourself that really needs um some nurturing here yeah you need willpower and strength and confidence to do this because you've been stagnant and complacent and you, you need to break out of your comfort zone you need to break out of your comfort zone you need to you need to accept that you're going to love, that everybody is going to love. It doesn't make you weak. You're just, you're, we're, we're meant to love. It's just, it's going to happen. You can't avoid it. So message the person you want to message or let them, or they're going to message you something, something's happening here. There's some, there's some kind of, so it's time for a transformation for you is, is what I get from these cards. So I hope this resonates. If it does, please comment like, subscribe, um, share. I do private readings as well. Um, I have some reading specials for January and my contact info is below. So thank you for watching.